Um, so, all right, guys, um, welcome to my channel. So, um, in this session, we're going to um, set up um, AWS budget. Um, it's very, very important that um, for every organization or uh, for every account, um, a budget is um, set up for our AWS services and all that, so that we won't incur uh, more charges than, than, than we expected. And some of the ways we incur charges, uh, unexpected charges is when we leave um, services running on AWS that we haven't using. So imagine um, you shut down um, an EC2 instances on AWS and you thought that um, it's no more functioning, but AWS C in court charges on, on those storage unless the EC2 is, um, is terminated. So we need to set up um, a budget, maybe monthly, so that we can have an idea of how, um, how charges have been incurred and when we get to a particular threshold of of the of the budget that we set we can know uh what and what are running in our environments what we need to shut down and what we need to uh, you know to keep so um on aws so we are going to set up our budget this is my um my aws account for uh for for lab for my uh, personal lab and all that, for testing out and working on AWS, and uh, for you to be able to set up billings and 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 AWS um, budgets and all that, you need to have a root account. Um, in other videos, I'll I'll show us how the IAM account and other um, users can be set up. So for now, we want to set up our budget for so. Go to cost um the cost explorer. So I, I log in with my root account access um just for the billing um purpose, then come to budgets. Um so let's create um budget. So what we are setting up here um is the cost budget. What this does is that it monitors your cost against a specified dollar uh, amount and receive a lot when you, your user defined treasuries are met. Using cost budget, uh, the budgeted amount you set represents your expected cloud spend. For example, you can set a cost budget for a business unit and then add additional par parameters such as the associated member account. So, to monitor the usage of um, how um, we have been. So here we have it as um, we are recording budget. Um, we have it to, you can set daily, um, daily um, budget or monthly budget, quarterly budget and annual budget. But I, I think we should do monthly, which is recommended. And also we have it as recurring budget or expiring budget. It has to be a recurring budget for me. And when we have it um, started, when we start on body services and all that, based on the planning, uh, preliminary planning and all that that you've done, you can say, okay, I want to start um, using AWS service by this particular month. So we have to set this budget and start using it this month. So this is December, 2021. We we'll leave it um, as that, then we we'll leave it as fixed. So, um, I don't want to spend more than one dollar um, per month for my services uh, because I see how um, some free um, uh, tier packages that I want to make use of. So, any other additional package I'm going to use, I just want. I don't want to exceed um, one dollar. So, I set one dollar um, as my as my uh, budget per month, okay. Um, yeah, supported changes. What else are we going to are we going to set? Um, we have to give it a name, so we can say monthly. 
mag lot of projects. So click next. So um, yeah, I'm going to set a threshold. Uh, yeah, so this is very important because I need to be alerted when um, uh, when um, um, the cost I'm incurring has gone to a particular amount um, that is near to the uh, budget I have set. So uh, this read that in order to be notified on the state of your budget, you can create up to five different alerts based on your budgeted amount. For example, create an alert to notify you when you have reached 75% of your budgeted amount. So I'm going to create an alert. Um, so I'm, I actually will set 80% um, of um, $1. So uh, this should be an actual, not forecasted one, an actual in code um in code cost so i'm going to give my email address uh, then so um when my budget has reached at 80 percent um threshold i'll be notified on my email address then click next um next so um this is a preview of what i review of what i just did um monitor your cost against a specified dollar amount and receive alerts when your user defined threshold are met then um the name is lab monthly budget december 2021 and the budget amount is one dollar one dollar then the halat it percent budgeted amount that's the threshold of actual cost not forecasted forecasted uh, cost means that um amazon watches the way you use um your services for a specific period of time and use that data to forecast the um the the um the amount of uh, in dollar that you're going to or in percentage that you're going to incur in the maybe nearest one month so maybe if you in the in the actual maybe last month you incurred maybe one point uh five um dollar based on the services you run on on aws so amazon will use that data to predict um your next um in court charges so that's a forecasted um charge on amazon so let's create a budget so now have our budget so we have our budgets um created that's it for now um aws budgets thank you so much for watching